Hello Twin Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here for your daily Twin Flame Chicken. Let's get started right away. It's another one of those super busy days, so I'd like to be done with this and get on to my thousand things. <laughs> I am taking it one day at a time, definitely gonna take it easy this weekend for sure. Uh, but yeah, things are heating up and I'm preparing for my big Europe trip. So it's a little out of control, but you know, <clears throat> what is in these days, right? One way or another. So I'm gonna start with an Oracle deck, just falling apart for some reason, but it's all good. <laughs> uh, we've got the enchanted map today. So let's see what we have for the Vagpeminus, first of all. Okay, this is one of my favorite cards, actually. Number 40, it's called Follow the Leader. So feminines have been reminded of their voice as a leader and uh, it's kind of like responsibility, but it's not in a harsh way, like whatever you do, you, you would need to remember the responsibility that you have. No, it's more like um, a reminder, but yeah, it's whatever you do, um, when it's on display, right, people draw conclusions. They make decisions based on that in their life as well. We do impact others that way. We are influencers, whether we like it or not, whether those people like to admit it or not, even like that. But yeah, be careful with how that is communicated to others, how you present what you do to them and things like that. Also, for some of you, of course, if you feel like there is a leader in your life that you could be following, that you feel inspired and excited about, then go for it. All right, I love how they're flipping. For masculines, we have number two, Gentle Gardener. Oh my God, this is such a pretty card. I will read it from the book because I haven't gotten it for a while, but the artwork is just beautiful. The gentle gardener is visiting you at this moment in your life to remind you that your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs create the reality you experience. She is the embodiment of the energy within you that is sent out into the field of co-creation and ensures that all that you are is reflected in the world of form. Are you aware of your thoughts? What is their quality? Believe in limitless possibility and you will see miracles unfold. The gentle gardener guarantees the integrity of everything you send out into the world. Stay positive and expect a wondrous return. Your garden is abundant with beauty. To me, that's already I think was what I was just talking about and what we saw with the follow the leader card. Uh, a little bit different aspect of it, but that's that's you see that's how that this twin energy works, right? It's this kind of energy, it's the same for both, but then interpretation would be different in the feminine form, in the, in the masculine form. Okay, let's go into tarot. <clears throat> Four of cups, bottom of the deck. It's reminiscing of the good old days not necessarily everything is like how do i put this a lot of those times the good old days were good and so it's on the one hand it's bittersweet it's on the one hand remembering how great it was whatever those adventures were what we did right but also a certain sadness of things not being the same right now which is fine that's how we're human brain functions and ideally we like well our brain likes for things to stay the same nine of swords yeah because when things are changing we get into this <sighs> warriness anxiety even sometimes because we don't really know what to expect next how to prepare for it what's going to happen to us right uh for feminines we have five of swords clarified by karma or judgment and again this is the eclipse you see just what we experience in the ace this is a reminder that this judgment is still being served it's still <clears throat> unveiling and uh, 
the five of swords actually to me it's the energy where you see who is real and who isn't who's been with you and with the best intentions and who hasn't been the eclipse is showing this very clearly who's your friend who isn't right maybe people were around just for the whatever to get something out of you and i'm not saying necessarily everybody has that kind of malicious agenda to take advantage of you but they were drawn towards you because at that moment they needed something that you had right and then once that situation was gone for them now there is no magnitude like, like that but you can see that now right and a big part of this revelation judgment karma whatever it is is that you can see that without judgment yourself like without the ego judgment you know you understand that that was part of karmic unveiling both people involved needed to have that experience and now off you go to something bigger and better both of you that doesn't necessarily include each other okay and for the masculines we have six of cups clarified by eight of wands yes masculines want to write a poem that's what i'm hearing to their feminine <laughs> about their beauty i'm not saying they're gonna read it to the feminine mind that but they feel like expressing it in some sort of artwork of course if you know your masculine likes to draw their musician that writes songs then that would be their genre but whatever it is it's this expression of the art of love of something beautiful and something they don't necessarily do right like that wouldn't be the usual thing they would do but now they feel inspired, it feels magical, and they want to capture it somehow. That's the key part of it, that it needs to be somehow recorded. This moment that you want to keep recorded. Additional question, five of cups clarified before once. The sadness of being apart, of not being in union, right? Maybe thought for some about the lost opportunity of being in union. Like we were so close at some point and then he or she just went off the rails and it never happened. And I was just devastated. Something like that. Or, <clears throat> or some external circumstances happened. You know, life happened and it never worked out for us. Um, what do the feminines need to know about this? Five of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Clarified the page of Wands. Yeah, feeling like you're alone and, uh, <sighs> again, how do I say this? You needed to have those experience, certain experiences at the time by yourself. It wasn't, it was never supposed to be a punishment, but it was definitely divinely orchestrated. That it wasn't the time yet because there was something that you needed, some kind of lesson you needed to learn outside of the connection that you wouldn't learn otherwise <clears throat> and it's not just about the person like you had to learn it was another person right maybe connection with your person the union would mean that you would move from where you are right now or you would stop doing what you do for a job for example and that experience that you had to have would be received in that environment where you were so it wasn't wise for you to change that around until you had it, right? So yeah, think about it. But there were some lessons there and there were lessons of patience and unconditional love in union not happening at the time as well, right? We get tested about that a lot, especially when ego creeps in and we start thinking that we are entitled to have an hour to it. We start thinking that this is so granted that it doesn't even matter what I say or do. It's just going to happen anyway, right? Like when we start going that way, that's when we get another test, another cycle of karma to show ourselves and or to show our person, right? That it's not granted like that. We're still supposed to be at a certain level, still supposed to appreciate, to be grateful. And to hold ourselves to a high standard. What do masculines need to know? Nine of swords and again. And eight of pentacles. Yeah, so. 
this is the full moon by the way which we are gonna have just a few days from now but <clears throat> more importantly there is this uh monkey brain that keeps replaying certain aspects of what could have been for the masculines and they're like but i mean i worked so hard on this and i thought that i got it i thought that it was going well and then something happened between us and it was just i couldn't get it i didn't understand why it broke up why it broke down right and there was a lot of anxiety there but again this was not for the purpose of like going into panic attacks or blaming yourself guilt and shame no the purpose was to see that maybe you need to redirect the work that you're doing right maybe what you were doing was good for a while but at that time something else was needed and after this whatever this happened this was this uh, after that event you could see what's the direction now so that you don't keep working the same way you did but it's not actually getting you to where you're supposed to be and remember we are i mean generally i feel like these days because we have so much information around us and we work with so much <laughs> um a lot of times we don't really like we can't use the same learning techniques or the same approach or account the same amount of time as it would is as it took like 10 years ago maybe not even the same as five years ago because things have changed and we have even different ways of perceiving information we have a bunch of these um crash courses extreme courses intensives workshops for a weekend that will get you there you know and i'm not saying that it's maybe this exactly the same but it could even be better because people have become so good at extracting the main things exactly what you need without that extra fluff without we call it in russian like water you know when you are it's like it's there just to be there but it doesn't really have a meaning on its own um yeah so really even if you feel like because you already have that image in your head that yeah this takes time and i'm not seeing results but i'm just gonna keep working on it and at some point i'll get the results but that wasn't really gonna happen with the way that you were doing it so this whatever that painful event happened it showed you which way to turn which way to go how are the feminine seeing the connection queen of wands clarified by two of pentacles <sighs> yeah so queen of wands is stepping in her, into her power she doesn't want to uh be living out several scenarios in here you know, like okay my dim is not coming so i'm living this scenario in my life like okay if my dm is gonna call me tomorrow i'm gonna live this scenario uh there's also this soulmate on the horizon so if this works together i'm gonna be living that scenario like don't want to do that that's what the feminine is saying in this energy right now like not for the twin for anyone else i'm choosing what i'm choosing for myself what makes me happy right now right and then when the masculine comes in if it fits all together great if not we'll talk we'll talk then that kind of vibe for masculines we see the chariot clarified by ace of wands so masculines are really drawn to go forward the inspiration has that poem writing energy i was just talking about but all of these that i already spoke about the art wanting to record their feelings in art by the way that's what's happened generations before us with all those writers, artists, musicians, right? Uh, <clears throat> it's definitely telling them that if they've gone to this space, um, it's powerful enough, it's real enough for them to pursue this and to move forward, no matter what it looks like in the physical right now. That this life is a dream, is a dream that they want to make a reality and they want to take action towards it. On this beautiful note i'm gonna end this thank you so much for joining me guys i love you all and i'll be back with more readings very very soon